Joining us now thanks. is uh, Disruptor Capital CEO and Fox News contributor Pete Snyder. Pete, thanks very much for joining us. Does this scandal prove that Hillary's biggest obstacle in the presidential race is actually herself? It does, Maria. I mean, the more people get to know her, the more time she spends in states, the more money she spends there, the worse she does. It's a very troubling trend for the Clinton campaign. Yeah, but this most recent coming out on Saturday Night Live and sort of this new strategy of having a softer uh, uh, Hillary, has that helped her? You mean the calculated, hey, let me tell you I'm going to be spontaneous and I'm really funny at heart campaign? No, it's not working <laughs> at all. You know I mean, a couple, a couple insiders might uh, might get a kick out of it. But no, that's not going to change the minds of, of real people out there who see the craven attempt by the Clinton campaign. And the more she does, the more she obfuscates, the worse she does. Mm. Hey, don't, but don't you think, Stegan McDowell, that this, will, this email scandal will have to get a lot worse for it really to change the minds of voters? Like, that there would have to be a, maybe even charges in this scandal. Sure. Look, I don't think the email campaign is the driving force behind her bad numbers. I think it's Hillary Clinton's behavior and her reaction mm -hmm. to any of these allegations. The public simply doesn't believe her. Six out of 10 people in New Hampshire think she's untrustworthy. No wonder Bernie Sanders is running away with it in New Hampshire. This is a problem. Pete, uh, it's Mike Holland. Would, would the uh, GOP prefer Hillary to Joe Biden as an opponent? You know, at this point, I think so. Uh, but I'm just not necessarily sure that Hillary Clinton's going to be the nominee. Everyone in 2007 and 2008 in Washington thought that she was going to be coronated and she was upended. The, voter, the voters of America, the Democratic voters, rejected her. The same trend seems to be happening again. And, you know, as Maria said, Hillary Clinton's worst enemy is herself. Well, so what? I think the Republicans need to get out of the way. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously now Bill Clinton is coming out. We saw him last night on, on the late night uh, program. Is that going to be helpful, uh, given the fact that m many people like Bill Clinton, even if they're not crazy about his wife? <laughs> sure. She's, I mean, he's the best possible weapon that she has. But, Maria, he came on the national stage, what, four decades ago. This is like a cyborg creature from the past hmm. trying to take the future. I mean, you know, as Bill Clinton said many times, winning campaigns are about the future, not the past. And it's going to be really tough for the Clinton campaign to shake the negatives of Hillary and them being cloaked in the past. So how do you explain that she's still leading in the polls? Well, national polls, as you know, right now mean absolutely nothing. Really? Uh, you know, presidential campaigns are, are made up by a series of early states that are voting, uh, and then all the other states tend to, fo to follow through. If you look at the states, Iowa, New Hampshire, where she's spending the most time, she's doing the worst. Right. Let me ask you real quick on the Kevin McCarthy situation. He wants the job, uh, John Boehner's seat uh, as House Speaker, but obviously... Uh, 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 you know, he, he uh, did not speak well the other day. Does he have a shot against, uh, do, do you think Jason Chavitz has a shot against Kevin McCarthy? And has Kevin McCarthy hurt, hurt himself at this point? Well, to answer your second question, he certainly has hurt himself. Kevin McCarthy said an absolutely idiotic thing. Uh, this this, camp, this, um, this uh, committee is about finding the truth in Benghazi. Uh, you need to strip all the politics of it. Uh, so I think, yeah, McCarthy definitely hurt himself. Is he going to lose the election? No, he will be the next Speaker of the House. But I, I believe he's going to have the very same problems that John Boehner did. All right. Pete, thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate your insights this morning. Thanks, Maria. We'll see you soon. Pete Snyder there. Volkswagen.